the 10th chapter, uh, verse 1 through 11. And then we're going to jump down to verse 20, I mean verse 17 through 20. St. Luke, the 10th chapter, verse 1 through 11. And then we're going to jump down to verse 17 through 20. And Lord's willing, amen, we're gonna, we might get a chance to get to Colossians, but I'm going to just hail that, amen. Uh, St. Luke, the 10th chapter, uh, verse 1 through 11, and then we're going to go to 17 through 20. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord, we thank you for the saints of God. Lord, we thank you just for your word. We thank you for being faithful and having faithful men and women in the house of God. We thank you, Lord, for every soul that comes through these doors, my God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as they hear the word of God, we have to feed them on this morning. Uh, let somebody joy remain. Uh, let somebody be filled again. Uh, let somebody, hallelujah, cry out. Uh, what must I do to be saved? Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and oh God, hide you behind the cross and let these things of place. Speak only that which you've given us to speak. In Jesus' name, and our souls is amen. 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 St. Luke, the 10th chapter, praise our God. Verse 1, it says, After these, the Lord appointed other seventy also, yeah. and sent them two and two before his face into every city and place, whether he himself would come. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest truly is great, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into his harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth as lambs among wolves. Carry neither purse, nor strip, nor shoes, and salute no man by the way. Into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon him. If not, it shall return to you again. In the same house remain, eating and drinking such things as they give. It is for the labor is worthy of his hire. Go not from house to house. Go not from house to house. And he says in verse 8, and he says, And to whatsoever city ye enter, that ye receive you, eat such things as they set before you. Heal the sick that are therein. Say unto them, the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Verse 10. But unto whatsoever city ye enter, and they see you not, go your ways out into the streets of the same and say. Verse 11. Even the very dust of your city, which cleave on us, we wipe, we do wipe off against you. Notwithstanding, notwithstanding, be you sure of this, that the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 17 through 20, he says, And the seven return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject to us through thy name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and all and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing by any means hurt you. Verse 20. Now we're standing in this, rejoice not, and that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are. Because your names Amen. are written in heaven. Amen. You receive it in the presence of the Lord. Amen. God is truly good. I want to use amen as a subject on this morning. Is that I still got joy. Uh, happiness, praise our God, is, is from God because we've been created in the image of God. It says God created us, amen, to be filled with joy. Uh, as God's people, we are meant to be joyful people. Uh, a faithful people and people filled with rejoicing. Uh, in the natural praise our God, uh, we get joy out of a lot of things. Out of cooking, shopping, fishing, hunting, you name it, amen. We get a lot of joy out of the pleasures of this world. Uh, but the joy I'm speaking about this morning, it comes from the joy 
of the Lord. Amen. The only joy, amen, that a saint of God, amen, truly has is that joy that comes from God. And so as saints of God, we ought to be very mindful. We used to sing the song, don't let the devil steal your joy. Uh, because when the devil begins to take your joy, man, then you have no strength. Because the word says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So when the adversary comes in like a flood, uh, he said, when he overwhelms my heart, he said, lead me to the rock. That is higher than I, amen. That rock, praise our God, is Jesus. Um, so what we say here that, how is it, amen, that I can lay hold to this joy? Uh, how can I be filled with joy all the times uh, when I'm in the world? The Bible says we're in the world, but we're not of it, amen. Meaning that we have to go in and come out. We have to operate, but there's something on the inside of me that calls me to have the joy. Uh, the song says, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world cannot take it away. Uh, but these things, these songs have got to resonate within us, amen. So when the adversary comes to steal our joy, it's not that he comes to steal it, amen, but he comes to cause us to be so frustrated that we don't realize, amen, that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Can you get some joy on this morning? Uh, I know that the saints of God are going through a lot of things, um, but you still have to have joy. Uh, you still have to have it, man, a fortitude of saying, uh, though he slay me, praise our God, uh, I'm going to trust God. Uh, though the adversary man comes in and man to buffle me, I'm still going to trust God. I'm still going to have joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. God is good. The thing about this text, praise our God, uh, there's a couple things that listed and talks about joy, praise our God. So if we look at here, amen, we didn't read verse 70, but we're going to read a 70 part of this, a portion of this. It says, the 70 returned with joy. Uh, he said, the 70 returned with joy, praise our God. Uh, and then we look down, amen, in verse 21, it says, at that time, Jesus, amen, was full of joy through the Holy Ghost. Uh, he was filled with joy through the Holy Ghost. So uh, there's a couple things that we got to realize, amen, that's in this text. Uh, I want to take my time on this morning because I want to understand something that's very important uh, in our world today. Uh, the society, amen, has put us that, that that we can get joy out of a lot of things in life. Uh, we can get pleasure out of a lot of things, amen. Things, amen, have become to make us very happy. Uh, we're satisfied with a whole lot of things, uh, but these things are just triple things. Uh, but for the sake of God, uh, we got to keep it in the forefront of our mind uh, that the joy of the Lord uh, has become my strength. Uh, sure, some things can satisfy us uh, just for a season, uh, just for a moment. Uh, but these things that I'm talking about uh, is the joy of God. Uh, the eternal God that's calling us out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. Uh, so we look at verse number three. He said, go your ways and behold, I send you forth as lamb among wolves. Uh, is that something, praise our God, that a saint of God can, can return joyful about? Uh, because I'm sending you uh, as a lamb among wolves. Uh, if I told you, saints of God, on this morning, uh, there's a bunch of wolves outside these walls. Uh, can somebody man up enough and say, I'm going off there? Or you remain inside, praise our God, because of fear. So you know what a wolf can do. Uh, he can rip you apart, praise our God. Uh, but he said, this is what I'm sending you. I'm sending you two by two, praise our God, as lambs among wolves. Mm -hmm. oh, this is what began to happen. He sends them. But they returned still having joy. Uh, sometimes, praise our God, in the world we're going to have some trouble. But can you still have joy? Uh, God, man, there's some situations, amen, that comes in our lives and it calls us sometimes to put our heads down. Uh, I don't think I can make it. I don't think I can go through what it is that I'm going through. Uh, but the joy of the Lord has got to become your strength. Uh, some people, amen, resort to the alcohol, amen. They resort to smoking things, amen. Medical marijuana, amen, is on the rise now because they're legalizing it. Uh, and some people are going to resort to this thing because it takes their mind off the thing. Uh, but when you come down up on high, uh, can you still have joy? Uh, the situation is still going to be there. Uh, so if we're a saint of God, uh, we got to have joy uh, in the Holy Ghost. It says joy unspeakable and full of glory. Uh, so verse 17, he said, the seven return again with joy saying, Lord, even the devils are subject to us through your name. Here's the key. Devils are subject to us 
Through whose name? The name Through the name of Jesus. Uh, that's what, amen, what he's talking about. Uh, they was excited, amen, about the adversaries being subject to them. Uh, but he's telling them, we'll get down here. Uh, but he's telling them, uh, I know you're excited about what the adversary is being subject to you. Uh, but it's through my name that they're subject to. It's through the name of Jesus, amen. So whatever you do, he said, do it word and deed. Do it all in the name of Jesus. Uh, so we got to understand something. Uh, when we're talking about that name, that's power in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's deliverance uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, that's healing in the name of Jesus. Uh, you can't make me doubt it. I know too much about him, praise our God. I, I'm identified with the name, praise our God. And that's what the adversary wants to fight against. Uh, it's that name, praise our God, uh, that causes, amen, demons to tremble. But you've got to be acquainted. Uh, you've got to be in fellowship with God before you can use his name. We all know what the seven sons of Siva, praise our God. Paul I know, Jesus I know, but who are you? Uh, it's obvious to me, praise our God, uh, that, 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 that these men, amen, that he sent out, they knew Jesus uh, because he said uh, they're subject to us. Uh, saints of God, what you got to realize on this morning, uh, you got the power of the Holy Ghost uh, down on the inside of you. Uh, the adversary, praise our God, he is subject to you so you can rise up and speak out and rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Do you still have joy? Do you still have the joy that burns like a mighty burning fire? Jeremiah says, like fire shot up in my bone. He said, I wasn't going to speak of that name, but it was like fire. I wasn't going to speak your word, but it was like fire shut up in my bones. Praise our God. Say so God, you gotta let loose on this morning, uh. You gotta let the devil know, hey, amen. Uh. You serve the true and living God. Uh. God got your back, praise our God. Because He's giving you power and authority to use the name. Uh. I still have joy uh. after all that I've been through. Uh. I still have joy. I know where my help comes from. Uh. My help coming from the name of the Lord, praise our God. My God. Uh. It's not in things, amen. It's not in folks. Uh. But it's in the name of Jesus. Uh, he sent 70 out uh, two by two. So that was 35 groups that was going out into the city. Praise our God. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of houses. That's a lot of doors, amen, to knock on, praise our God. Uh, but we remember something about this. This is very important, saints. Uh, you remember Moses? He sent out 12 spies, praise our God. But uh, he's trying to say, go out into the land and see if we can take it. You know the report. And the two came back with a positive report. Uh, that was Joshua and Caleb. The rest of them came in because they were looking at a man. They was looking at the size of the people, the giants in the land. Instead of saying, God said, go out and occupy. In other words, instead of taking a man, what God has already said. Uh, when they got to what they were supposed to be, uh, they saw what was before them. Uh, instead of realizing what has already been spoken in their lives, praise our God. They let the situation ahead of them dictate that they could not make it. Joshua and Caleb said, we're well able. I want you to understand something, saints of God. You well able on this morning. Uh, in spite of what's before you, you well able, my God. You can overtake God. You can overcome my God. You can have victory in the name of Jesus. That's what Acts 1 and 8 says. You're going to have power after that the Holy Ghost come upon you. Don't let the enemy praise our God. Try to steal your joy, amen. It's whose report are you going to believe on this morning? Uh, who report are you going to believe on this morning? Uh, are you going to believe on more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus? Uh, yes, I am because of the word already set. So. His word, praise God, is already settled in heaven. Uh, so therefore, when the adversary tries to throw up against me, uh, he should not move me. So let's talk about these 70 men. Let's talk about, amen, the things, amen, that they might have encountered uh, because, amen, they had a very simple job. Uh, it was not, amen, that they would go out and get glory among themselves. Uh, they had to go out and say, the kingdom of God uh, is coming now to you. Uh, that's what their message was. Uh, it was not glorifying themselves. Uh, they was telling them, amen, uh, that Jesus is coming, praise our God. Uh, it is up to the saints of God on this morning uh, to let somebody know uh, that Jesus is coming. Uh, but you got to be ready when he comes. They're going to visit places that Jesus, amen, 
In other words, they're going to prepare them to tell them, praise our God. Yes, Jesus is coming to your house. Uh, that's something to get excited about, amen. I, said, you, I heard of him, praise our God, uh, but he's coming to my house, praise God. In other words, you know how it is. Uh, when somebody special, praise our God, is coming to your house, uh, you cleaning the place. Uh, you getting spick and span, praise our God. You're wiping, you're dusting, you're doing everything to get it ready. Uh, saints of God, uh, so it is, amen. Jesus is coming. Uh, we got to be ready uh, when he comes. Uh, he says, I'm coming for a church without spirit. Spot or uh, wrinkle, we can be ready when no, Jesus no. comes. Uh, but if you got to still get some joy uh, down on the inside, uh, can you still have joy uh, when they come in and say, "Listen, now, uh, I don't want to hear it. Shake the dust, wipe it off your feet. Uh, no matter what they say, uh, it still came to your house uh, because He said the first thing you go in there, He says, "Peace be to this house." See, there's some people want to use an excuse. Uh, but the excuse is already been nailed to the cross uh, because this day uh, the word of God has came to you prepare your way because Jesus is coming. Uh, the world does not know, praise our God, Jesus as we know him to be. Uh, so therefore, in saints of God, uh, we got to let them know that Jesus saves to the utmost, my God. Jesus saves. Uh, some people are so tired of it, uh, the things they have done in this world, but God, uh, he's rich in grace and mercy uh, that if you just repent of your sins, uh, God God is just and righteous enough to forgive. But the adversary, he has caused him, praise our God, to think I've done so wrong that God cannot help me. But he, he, he can't help you because he's already made a way. He's already went to Calvary. He's already died, praise our God. Now we don't have a right to the tree of life. Listen to what he tells them. He said, pray, praise our God. Ask the Lord, praise our God. Verse number two. He said, therefore saying to them, uh, the Lord, the harvest is great, uh, but the labors are few. Uh, he said, pray therefore the Lord uh, of the harvest uh, would send forth labors into his harvest. The Lord of the harvest would pray to send forth labors to his harvest. In other words, God said, I've already done the let work for you. You got to be willing to go out there, praise our God, uh, into the hedges and byways uh, in which I'm sending you. I'm giving you the power to do these things. Uh, I'm telling you first things in peace. I'm telling you everything that you need to do. He told them, don't take no skirt, no shoes. You know how we are. Sometimes we pack it up. <laughs> are we going on vacation? Are we going not to return, praise our God? Sometimes, Lord, what am I going to say to him? Uh, open up your mouth. Uh, if you've been to Sunday school, uh, if you've been to Bible study, you can open up your mouth because the word of God uh, is in you. Don't let the adversary, praise our God, try to tell you anything different. Uh, so here we are. Uh, how many of you get excited about doing the work for the Lord? If God was sending them out, praise our God, surely he's going to equip them. Uh, surely he's going to tell them what to say. Surely he's going to tell them the things that they're going to encounter, praise our God. Uh, but he said, I'm with you, praise our God. Will you still go? He said, they did some wonderful things. They began to heal some folks. Uh, they began to cast out devils uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, but he's telling them, saints of God, he told them as lambs among wolves. That's a fearful thing. Yes, amen. A lamb and a wolf. Mm. In the natural, who you gonna take? <laughs> I'm not gonna say who's gonna put your money on. <laughs> I'm asking you who you gonna take, praise our God. Naturally say, I'm gonna put mine, I'm gonna take the wolf. <laughs> because he's a predator. Mm -hmm. But listen what happened. In a predator situation, amen, they was able to come back yeah. with joy. Yeah. They was able to overcome, man. man. They are lamb defeating them. <laughs> it does not sound possible, praise our God. But when you got the name of Jesus on board, when you got the love of God uh, down in your heart uh, for souls, praise our God, it does not matter what's before you, praise our God. I got Jesus on the inside. Uh, and the mind is burning fire. If God sent me out, he's going to equip me to do it. Yeah. 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 Who cares about the wolf? I got Jesus. Amen. It's an analogy that you understand what are they facing, praise our God. And as saints of God in the last and evil days, 
were facing some hard things. Yes. But he told them, the kingdom of God is near. It's a simple message. But the simplicity of the message is, how will we be received? Yes. And that's what the problem sometimes today. Can you still have joy when they shut the door in your face and say, I don't want to hear it? Can you still have joy? Can you still be joyful, amen? When they don't, you know they're there because you're still peeking through the blinds, amen, and they won't answer the door. Can you still have joy when they do that? Can you still have joy when they scandalize your name or when they're cursing in your face? Or can you still have, can you return joy and say, Lord, even demons are sucked to us through your name. That's all right. Yes, you can. Yeah. Because of what? It's not that they are subject to your name. It's because your name is written yeah. in the Lamb's yeah. Book of Life. Uh, that's what the ultimate thing that you're going to have to start understanding. Uh, where is my name written? Uh, sometimes we get excited about our children uh, and that their names are on the deeds list. Uh, uh, when we get our names in the paper for doing this and the other, we call them everybody and say, hey, uh, did you see so-and-so? Uh, she's in the paper today. Uh, yeah, but I got ten copies of it. Uh, but take the saints of God uh, get excited about uh, my name is written uh, in the Lamb Book of Life. Uh, that's what excites me on this morning. No matter what I go through, I can fall back and say, if I hold on, my God, eternal life belongs to me because my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. It does not matter what the wolf try to do. I'm saved, I'm sanctified, and I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, the seven will turn against the Lord. Even devils are summoned through us through your name. Nothing like that had happened to them before. All right. uh, uh, they was changing people's lives, praise our God. They was causing people to realize, amen, that somebody is coming. Uh, you mean to tell me somebody is coming greater than you? Behind? Oh, my God. Yes, it is. Uh, you know how it is. Uh, we get excited, praise our God. Yes, I'm doing a great thing, but that's one that's coming. Mighty than me. That's what John was telling. I'm not the one, but the one it's referred before me that cometh after me. Yes. He is the one, praise our God. It's not about us, uh, but it's about Christ. Uh. They was excited. They was pumped up uh, about the name of Jesus. Uh. Don't you think, amen, anything can stop them now? Uh. My God, look at what stops them. Nothing can stop them now. But one thing. One thing that they fail to realize. Uh, in verse 20, he says, Notwithstanding in this Rejoice not. Don't rejoice in this. Don't rejoice, amen, because you can lay hands on the sick. Don't rejoice, praise our God, because the adversary is subject to you. Uh, he said, but rejoice because of where your name is written. Uh, he said, listen, uh, that the spirit of the will rather rejoice because your name is written up in heaven. Uh, that, that don't sound right, praise our God. Because in other words, uh, there's a future event that's going to take place. Uh, but right now I'm excited because I can lay hands. Uh, I can rebuke the devil. Uh, I can see it in action right now. Uh, that's enough to make me excited. Uh, that's enough to make us run back and say, Lord, uh, there's something to us. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Uh, understand what's truly important. Yes. The important thing is where your name is. Yes. Saints of God, it does not matter what you're going through this morning. Uh, what I mean by that is uh, you got to count it all joy uh, yes. when you fall into dying those temptations. Uh, you got to realize, praise our God, uh, that it's just for a moment that these light afflictions, uh, which are but for a moment working for us in a formal eternal city wait in glory. Yes. It's about Jesus. Uh, it's about where your name is, praise our God. So why would Jesus say, man, stop them, amen? They seem so pumped. They seem so excited uh, about what God is doing. Uh, and that's on the fifth chapter, uh, verse 18. He said, everything, uh, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you. Uh, that is in Christ Jesus. Uh, give thanks unto the Lord uh, for the things that he has done. Uh, give thanks unto the Lord uh, for what he brought you out of. Uh, give thanks unto the Lord uh, for what he's taken you through. Uh, give thanks unto the Lord because your name is written yes, in heaven. Yes, yes, yes. Give thanks yes. with a grateful heart of what God yes. has done. Do yes, understand there's two things that begin to happen here. He said it's the joy of the world 
and then there's the joy of the Lord. Uh, most of us have experienced the joy of the world because we came out of the world, praise our God. We know what joy and pleasures are in the world is uh, because, amen, uh, it's based on what I can do, praise God. You know how we are. Look at what I can do. Uh, I can do this better than you. Uh, I can do a whole lot better, amen, than what you're doing. Uh, but the joy, man, is talking about how much money I can make. Uh, look at the position of fame that I'm in now, praise our God. Uh, look and how good I look. My God, look at me now, praise God. If they can see me now, I'm talking about flesh now, but says, look, look, look at how much I can enjoy without a man the joy of the Lord. This is what the world says. The world is concerned about me, myself, and I. Uh, it's based on me. Uh, look at what I did. Uh, look at what I accomplished. Uh, look at what I set out to do. And I did those things. Uh, I set out a goal in life. Uh, and I'm happy about what I have accomplished. That's the world's joy. But the joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. That's what Jesus was trying to get them to understand. Uh, don't rejoice that they're subject to you. Don't rejoice, praise our God, because you can lay hands on the sick. Uh, so listen to what I'm saying. Uh, a couple of things that you got to understand here. Who gave you that power, praise our God? Uh, whose name are they submitting to? It's the name of Jesus, praise our God. Uh, whose name is written in heaven? It's your name, praise our God, that is written in heaven. So don't rejoice in what you've done. Uh, rejoice in what God has done for you. You, you got to get this thing on this morning, saints, uh, because the adversary, man, he's come to steal your joy, uh, but if I can rejoice in what God has done for me, uh, if he delays his coming, uh, if I, my God, hold on, uh, if I don't faint by the wayside, uh, my name, praise our God, uh, won't get marked out, praise our God, oh my God, uh, it'll still remain, uh, you can come off that dean list, uh, if your GPA, my God, uh, drop below the standard, uh, you cannot make the paper on today, uh, on tomorrow because somebody else did a little better uh, than what you did. Uh, but the name, my God, uh, that is written, the adversary cannot remove it. Uh. The only thing that can move that is you uh, and your action and what you do. Yes. So remain safe. Remain committed to the house of God. Should we rejoice? Yes, we should. The enemy don't want the saints to rejoice. He wants you to, to focus on what you're going through. If I can get the saints to focus on the things that they're going through, they won't rejoice. If I can get them to focus on my situation or my problem, they won't rejoice. Uh, if I can get them to focus on anything else uh, but the God that has called them out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light, they won't rejoice. But you know what you do? You count this all joy. You say, uh, adversary, yeah, I'm going through. Yes, it's because of you. It might be because of me. Yeah. But I'm rejoicing because my name. Oh. Yes. Yes. I'm rejoicing because my name is written. Yes. My God. I told this story a long time ago. Mm. I, I tried out for basketball on JV. I was doing it. Everything. I was first across the line in everything. Because I wanted to make a team, brother. I wanted to make the team, so therefore, I'm not going to let anything take chances. I wasn't going to quit in any situation, such a gentleman. I wasn't going to slack up in nothing, uh, because I went first on this. Uh, I'm going to slack off on that. Uh, my goal was to finish first in everything that I did. Amen. Amen. I did. Amen. <laughs> yes, I did. Right. I did. <laughs> Listen what happens. We get up there, it's cut day. I mean, anybody else experience cut day? Yeah. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's rough, bro. You, you think you made it, man? I don't know, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know you made it. You don't want to say nothing. You think you made it? Yeah, I don't know, man. I know I should have made it based on the things that I've done. <laughs> I get out there, brother, and check that list. I'm hurt. Yeah. I'm severely hurt because if all I went through for those two weeks, praise our God, running my heart out, my God, finishing first, doing everything that I knew that I could do at the best of my ability, 
Why am I not on this list? Man, you better go ask Coach Woody. Why your name on the list? You know how you are, 16 years old. You bad? You will tell him. Hey, Coach, how you doing? How you make the team? How you make the team? What's wrong with you? This is my mind. I'm thinking this now. I'm asking how you make the team, Coach. You know what the coach said? I knew I was forgetting somebody. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Well, Coach, thank you for giving <laughs> I knew I was forgetting somebody. How many of you know Jesus will not forget your neighbor of love? Jesus ain't gonna forget you. I'm telling you, Jesus is not gonna forget you. Forever, Coach Wood and I are tied to that. I wonder if he's someone telling somebody about the story that I forgot to put Al Todd's name on the list. Maybe I'll call him up this week. <laughs> and remind him, praise our God, of the tragic mistake that he almost made. <laughs> Glory be to God. So what am I saying? Our name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Our name is somewhere, praise our God, that somebody can't go out there and cross your name out and put theirs in. You know how it is. Somebody can't go in and put white out and put your name there. Somebody can't hack into the computer, praise our God, and take your name out and start theirs in. No way, no how. Not in God's book of life. It ain't gonna happen. Because God knows, amen. He knows what your labors are. He knows, amen, the things that you're going through. Uh, so say some God. Uh, I preach the message that's talking about staying uh, connected with Jesus, praise our God. As long as you stay connected uh, to the source, uh, to the outlet, to the power, as long as you stay connected to Jesus, uh, your name is not going to get crossed out of the Lamb's uh, book of life. Uh, you're going to rejoice in that. Uh, I'm doing all that I can. Uh, I'm doing everything, my God, uh, and my power. To please uh, the true and living God, uh, not myself, uh, not the pastor, but I'm doing this to please God. Yes. Do you still yes. have joy? Yes. Uh, when you fall into situations uh, that won't you just crawl up and cry, uh, but can you get enough, my God, to muster and say, wait a minute, uh, why am I so distraught? Uh, my name is written somewhere, my God, uh, it's heaven. Uh, that should be enough to say, he'll pick you up. Uh, it'll turn you around. Uh, you can get yourself together. You can shake yourself and say, I, I know Jesus. And he knows me. Don't rejoice in what you're doing. Rejoice in the power that God has given you. Rejoice in something other than yourself. You know how we can celebrate ourselves. And we can celebrate one another. It's okay. But you got to keep it in perspective. All the time I joke with the saints and God said, Pastor, this, that, and the other. I said, let me get outside. I don't want my head to get so big that 